The moon looks so bright. Hey, stargazers, want a snack? Your snacks are bogus. We're not eating trail mix, Dad. Come on, kids, give your old dad a chance. Yeah. Chandler's Extreme Tuna Ranch Chips made with 100% beef. They're new. And they're paleo. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah! Whoa! Chandler's Extreme Tuna Ranch Chips made with 100% beef. The moon's favorite chip. Meredith, did you get my Slack message, my text, my, my Marco Polo, and that calendar invite? I, I wanted to make sure you saw it. Um. Cool. Uh, so as you know, I'm launching my new chip line, Chadler's Extreme Tuna Ranch made with 100% beef. <sighs> They're paleo. Anyway, I have this sick marketing opportunity and I need your help with it. Uh, what is it? My face on the actual moon. Your face on the actual moon? There's this marketing guy and he says that they have these high powered lasers now and they can like etch my face on the moon and you know, like maybe the words, Chadler's Extreme Tuna Ranch Chips made with 100% beef on the moon. How sick is that? This has to be a scam. There is no way someone can etch your face onto the moon. I mean, they- They have lasers, Meredith. Okay, but like, there are laws. Like, hold on. Um, yes, see right here, the Outer Space Treaty. I'm pretty sure there's something in here about not etching your face on the moon. Let me just look. Meredith. The Outer Space Treaty is from the 1960s. They could never have imagined the technological heights to which humanity has risen. They could never have imagined this. Ugh. Okay, Chad, just don't give them your money, okay? I know it's your dad's planetarium and you probably don't even need any profit off of these chips, but seriously, this dude is trying to scam you, Chad. That is so sweet and I really appreciate you looking out for me, but you know what? What? It's gonna be a whole lot easier to look out for me when my face is on the moon! Woo! the moon does not make werewolves is what I thought until I read this last comment from this viewer who's a nurse moons are popping out babies is my whole life a lie what about fur babies I gotta ask Adler oh no, no. I have a question but please, please. for the hundredth time the Adler planetarium will not put out a statement that says full moons don't make werewolves Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. wait. If you this is, this space, is super important. Please email ask Do moons at make fur babies? What? Or, 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 no, not make them, but, you know, pop more of them out. So I'm no medical professional, but I do know about the moon. A full moon is one of the moon phases. A moon phase is what we call uh, how much of the sunlit part of the moon we can see from Earth. Full moon is when the side of the moon that faces us is completely lit by reflected light from the sun. We see the entire side at that so there's, point. So there's nothing 
special about a full moon? There's nothing special that happens when the moon is full. What about when the Earth is closer in its orbit? Or, I don't know. The moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle, but the change in distance also doesn't detectably change the force of the moon on you. In fact, do this experiment. Grab a book. Mm, maybe this one right here. Take your book, hold it out at arm's length. The force of the book on you is greater than the force of the moon on you. What about a wolf moon? Just a full moon. A snow moon? Still just a full moon, but in winter. What about a blood moon? Oh, that's a lunar eclipse. That's what happens when the moon passes through the shadow cast by the Earth in space. Uh, but again, shadows don't make werewolves. Does it make babies? Mr. Wolf, I'm an astronomer, not a medical professional. If you want to know about babies, please ask a medical doctor. Goodbye. <laughs>
Dr. Tan, you're a medical doctor, right? I am. I'm a surgeon. Do you know where moon babies come from? Excuse me? A nurse told me more people give birth when the moon is full. Unfortunately, that's a common misconception, even in the medical community. But it's really an artifact of something called confirmation bias. Oh. You're nodding your head. Do you know what confirmation bias is? No idea. Confirmation bias is the tendency to look for things that reinforce our previously held beliefs. So for instance, if you thought that left-handed people are more creative, then every time you see a left-handed person who's an artist, you might think, oh yes, left-handed people are more creative. Uh, well, yeah, um. Is something else on your mind? What about, you know, all this? In your professional opinion, did the moon do this or... Are you asking me if the moon creates werewolves? Yes. I can say with absolute medical certainty that it does not. So, I'm... Um... Yeah. Uh, okay. I, 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 uh... Hi everybody, I'm Meredith and this is my rescue dog, Luna. Luna happens to be the most popular dog name in the United States right now, um, but it's also the name of our moon. So I wrote a song that could either be about your pet Luna, if you have one, or about the moon, which we all have. So enjoy. Luna, you changed our world when you arrived. Luna, you changed our world. Luna, every time I look at you, I see something. My face on the moon. Chandler, I thought that was a scam. How is this even possible? Wow, with the moon opening up for private business now, the future is so inspiring. Me, on the moon. But Chad, the moon, the moon is everyone's. I mean, you can't just do stuff to it and change it forever. I mean, now, ugh. Meredith, if you're jealous, it's okay. Sometimes I get jealous of me too. Oh, did you get that thing I sent you? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, the chips. It's a half-eaten bag of Chadler's Extreme Tuna Ranch chips made with 100% beef. The moon's favorite chip, and now the moon's only chip.